Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome back to The Sims Medieval if I can get my mouse where I would like it. There we go. Alrighty. Um yeah, okay, so we still need to acquire and read a book on the history of the kingdom. Buy all five bundles of harvest grain from the village shop. Compliment the taste of two customers and acquire gems via trading and deliver to the jeweler. Ooh, a different one this time. All right. Well, she's good to go. They're doing something. Not entirely certain what they are doing. Um, and we need to craft and deliver an elixir of lure and a mystic grog. So let's get going on that. First, let's have her scry, and then we'll have her do that. We're going to get started over here. Um, I am a bit concerned. I feel like this is glitched, so I'm going to try to acquire it, and if it doesn't, then we might have to admit defeat on this one and quit the quest, which really, really, really sucks. I don't want to. So, yeah. Oh my, what did that kid ever do to you? What was... Okay. Oh, oh, okay, that's what I heard. I heard... Okay. Yeah, but yeah, how is everybody doing? How is everybody's week? Um... Mine's been doing pretty good so far. I'm actually recording this ahead of time on a Tuesday. Go me. Um, and I actually started at my internship on Monday, and it was fantastic. I planted like 700 plant plugs, and I should be going back on Wednesday, and potentially even, f well, today, whenever this video comes out, so, yep, pretty awesome. Yep. Um, I think it's going to work out really well. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be complimenting people, aren't I? <laughs> Lips. Holy crap. Staff of Indeterminate Evil for a thousand. Oh, my gosh. Okay, compliment. Butter up, buttercup. Okay, so now we have more than enough money to get the bundles of grain and also whatever we need for the jewels, which I'm going to look up in a second. Um, asked by goods. They're almost done with that. Yep. Let's see, tomorrow I have, okay, it was a elixir velour and a grog, right? I can use a grog right now, I'm a bit sleepy. Ah. Okay, um, under Spy Tavros, compliment, butter up. <coughs> Don't go walking through. Not his crown jewels. <laughs> oh, of course. Thank you, you wonderful bird. Thank you. Sun pumping. And he ran off. He knew what I was wanting to do. Okay, so let's come over here, receive our allowance. Let's go investigate today's market, go to the village shop. Uh, Verity finished that. Oh, wow, that looks really cool. Mystic Grog, and then let's see what we need for Tredony. I don't remember. Tredony... Sims Medieval. Um, barley. Six barley for some gems. Two phosphorus for a magic powder. Three goose feather for a jeweled ring. Or one prisoner for a loot. Let's see if I can buy the phosphorus and the barley. Oh my god. A whole prisoner for a loot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's scary. 
A guard at Dragon's Dale stopped by earlier and wanted a Mystic Grog for tonight. I should craft it up and deliver it as soon as I can. Okay. Nothing is for sale right now. Did I make that grog a bit too strong? Ah, it doesn't matter. I got my 75 gold, and the grog is in the hands of the customer. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I'll ever do a little bit of collecting while we head... Yeah, we're supposed to head down here. Okay. Electrum... I love... Did you just appear? I think a consort just appeared. Um, okay. Yeah, um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna buy all of those, because we can. I'll buy an ivory paddle and a fiddle. She can sell it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, that's tempting, but I'm not gonna. Um, Houston, I think we have a problem. Surely it's not the wheat. It said g bags of grain, right? Uh... Well, uh, I think we have a problem. Okay, um, hang on. What in the heck? That is not Google. I don't know what that is. Um, Sims Medieval Ancient Secrets can't buy at the village shop. Okay, so this is not... Alright, hang on. Dead parrot. Alright, cool. That's not what I'm having issues with. Okay, so it, uh, hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
Okay, so... Ancient Secrets is what we're on. The merchant will become stuck in the forest at the end of this quest and requires using a testing cheat to reset in a following quest where the merchant is an active hero. Well, that's not where we're at right now. Okay. Uh, okay, let me... We might be quitting this one. I, I don't want to. I really don't want to. I really wanted to play this one. But if I can't buy all five... If I cannot buy the bundles of harvest grain... And I cannot read a book. If I can't get either of these from the village shop, then there's nothing that I can do at this point. I don't... Because, cause like, I could potentially maybe find the book in a buy debug, but I can't... Per like, is it the wheat? I don't think it is. I mean, I'll, I'll buy it. Like, okay. Because, cause, um... Steel, rustic, like these are all manuals of blacksmithing, favorite feast ale recipes, salt, manual blacksmithing, jeweled loot of the watcher, It's not here. Okay, so you did that now. I mean, come over here and go to the village shop. Maybe... I mean, I've tried this for, what, th three episodes now? This is so frustrating. It sucks, because this game I don't really have any issues with. This is the first one I've ever had in a glitch in, actually. Uh, while moving through the village, a dip Verity almost tripped over an old toothless beggar sitting on a pile of filthy rags. The beggar looked meekly from his one good eye and extended his bony arm, a cracked wooden cup clenched in his claws. Alms for the poor, he groaned. Help him. Poor souls such as he required a little love and charity from strangers. One gold small was likely nothing to a dip Verity, but it would be a fortune for the old beggar. Um... Shove him aside. Why do some people insist on clogging the main arteries of trade and commerce in the village? It was best not to give them anything or they would surely multiply like flies. Help him. <clears throat> a tep Verity pulled out a small and flipped it into the poor beggar's humble cup with a glint in his eye. He bit the gold coin with his yellow teeth and nodded to Verity. Thank you. May the watcher bless you someday, he whispered. Verity looked around then shrugged her shoulders and continued on, feeling slightly better herself. Um, 25 XP. Okay. Alright, I... I'm gonna look up a... See if there's, like, a bitey bug. I don't think there is. Sims Medieval bitey bug. Okay. I've never once done this in my life. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. This is so far not doing so good. Um, cheat codes, I guess. I feel weird doing this in this game. Okay, uh, sable clothing filter. Oh, that's cool. You can reroll quests, move objects, of course. FPS full screen, enable llamas, llama mode. I don't know what that is. Uh, turn on, turn off responsibility, show all quests. Um, Oh. Oh, no, I'm not doing this. Nope, nope, because it says here, in addition to using codes, it's possible to enable more cheats by editing one of the game's files. The game cannot be running, and you have to mess with the files. Never mind. All right. I'm not comfortable doing that. Um... I hate doing this. I hate doing this. I hate doing this, but it's not working. Physically do not want to... I don't. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, well... Ugh. The ruins sat unexplored, hiding their secrets from the kingdom. Whatever wonders lay within their depths remained out of reach to the people of Dragon's Vale. I wanted to do it so badly. I was really enjoying it, too. Oh, gosh. Alright, whatever. Just, I'm annoyed. Sorry, but I'm annoyed when the game doesn't want to work. And it should. It's not working. Okay. So, looks like... All right, Legend of the Talking Frog. Rumors of a talking frog named Frugal had been spreading around Dragon's Vale for a few days. This wasn't just another fairy tale that had captured the minds of the kingdom. There really was a magical frog out there, somewhere. Someone would have to find this talking frog. I didn't do her little... That's okay, I don't care. Um, So we can either do a Toadry romance, any non-physician with the supporting hero being the physician, figure out how to find the talking frog, then find someone willing to transform the frog with a special kiss, or we can eat the frog. Any hero excluding the monarch with the supporting role being the monarch. Figure out how to find the talking frog, then eat, drink, and be merry. So we got the legend of the talking frog. Heir to the throne, Lady Lily the Great was having... I forgot my monarch's name was Lily. <laughs> uh, was having a midlife crisis brought on by the realization that she had no worthy, worthy heir to the throne and no suitable mate. The queen would do whatever was necessary to have the right child. Pumping out the princes. Unmarried monarch, find a suitor and have a child worthy of the royal throne before age catches you in its mortal grasp. Um, war games. The age-old tradition of sanctioned military contests had arrived in Dragon's Vale. It was a time of great excitement and rejoicing. Representatives traveled from across the land to gather in the spirit of friendly competition and diplomacy. A host of the tourney expectation... Oh, as host of the tourney, expectations for glorious triumph for high, who will be crowned the victor and the greatest champion of the land. So the knight, we haven't played the knight yet, um, with the supporting character being the monarch. <clears throat> it was the duty as protector of the people and the leader of the military to don the mantle of Dragon's Vale's champion. Prowess in battle is second only to honorable conduct within the games. Could a noble victory be achieved despite the rising intrigue and fierce competition? A legendary trait is available in this quest. Ooh. Ooh. I, I forgot those were in this game. And I kind of want to do war games. Uh, Royal Review. As a loyal and productive member of Dragon's Vale, a tradesperson's livelihood was a boon to the people and thus beholden to the bidding of the kingdom. As such, regular Royal Review was required to garner the sanction of the throne. To continue plying a trade, so we can either do the physician or we can do the monarch themselves. Uh, royal holiday. 
Everyone needed to take a vacation sometimes, even the monarch, or even a monarch. Ruling over the people had become a bit tiresome, and the time had come to take a trip somewhere that might offer a bit of a break from the day-to-day -day toils of being the most powerful sim in the kingdom. A little time off, a uh, primary hero being the monarch, a vacation, a break, a little time off. No matter what the name, a monarch is entitled to everyone, to one every now and then. Uh, constellation confrontation, the monarch was becoming increasingly obsessed with the stars. Tales were told of the stars deciding the fate of kings, and many believed that they could even grant immortality. Could there be a place for Dragon's Veil's ruler among the stars? Uh, so we can either do to the stars for the bard, or Peter and Priest with hubris. Okay. Um, so that's what we got. Uh, looks like, really, it's monarch... Bard, Peter and Priest, our new knight, who we haven't played yet, um, or really anybody, actually, if we wanted to do Toadry Romance, or the Talking Frog's Legs. So y'all let me know what y'all'd like to see. I, I'm really sorry that we had to admit defeat on that one. I've never once had that happen to me. Ever. Have y'all, if anyone is watching this and you've played, have you ever been stonewalled by something like that where the village shop just was not working? I've, I've never once had that and I don't, I can't even begin to fathom how to fix it. I mean, this game's so old. <laughs> I was looking at things from 2012! And, and before! And like... I, I don't know how to fix it, so we admitted defeat. <sighs> Dang it. But anyway, um, we're going to keep moving on. I'm just sad right now. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know what y'all would like to see, and we will pick back up with The Sims Medieval next time. Yep, so happy Friday, have a great weekend, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!